A delegation of Rwandan investors led by Robert Bafakurera, the chairperson of the Private Sector Federation, was today received by the Central African Republic President Fauste Arkanj Taudera at the State House in Bangui. The visiting delegation of 56 business leaders, which arrived in the Central African Republic on Wednesday, March 21st, 2021, is exploring investment opportunities in the country. Now joining us on phone is the CEO of PSF, Stephen Rizibiza, to tell us more about the trip. Good evening. Good evening, Gloria. Uh, how, first of all, how is your trip going? And also, secondly, this is not the first time a group of Rwandan investors are visiting the Central African Republic. Uh, what investment opportunities are you looking out for in that country? Thank you so much once again, Gloria. Uh, well, as you rightly say, this is not the first group, and I don't think it's going to be the last group. Uh, we have had individuals coming here on their individual basis and exploring the uh, business opportunities already in this place. Some of them have already started the business in agricultural sector and others in uh, real estate. So those that came ahead of us have already started doing business. For the available opportunities, the opportunities are enormous in all sectors. Every every sector here is still fresh and untapped. So they range from SMEs to bigger corporates, depending on anyone's capacity. If he or she comes here to set up business, they will find themselves fitting properly. Uh, SMEs from Rwanda can come and they will be able to start up business here. The conditions are much easier. So basically, all sectors and tapped from infrastructure, agro-processing, real estate, uh, all sectors, finance, they are all still available here for uh, exploring. I understand President Taudera pledged investment incentives to Rwandan investors. What kind of incentives are these and what are some of the investment sectors, uh, apart from the ones that you've mentioned, that the Central African Republic government is prioritizing for you to explore? Well, prior to meeting His Excellency today, we also we had a prior meeting with his government officials, especially the Minister of Finance, mm. and the leaders of the, the institutions under his portfolio, like the Revenue Authority, the Director in Charge of Investment, and Director in Charge of One Stop Center. All that we are looking for is their commitment towards providing the necessary incentives that are needed for the investment, especially from Rwandans. So today, the meeting with His Excellency was just... Uh, a follow-up of what we had had and to cement and get his political support. So he prayed that we will continue to support uh, the Rwandan investments uh, coming uh, that in, in his country and that he had requested his Excellency President of the Republic of Rwanda, Paul Kagame, to interest the Rwandan business uh, operators to come and invest here and where possible transfer knowledge to the Central African Republic citizens in the sectors of business. So he prayed that his, him and his government will work too much towards uh, giving out what he has promised his counterparts, the President of the Republic of Rwanda, and the signed protocols and agreements with the two countries. He has attached his team to ensure that it is now implemented and everything is ratified so that the, business, the Rwandan business investors can start benefiting the incentives paid, like the taxation, free establishment, uh, the right to bring workforce and labor force here with less uh, charges, working permit conditions and uh, residence permit conditions that are going to be used for the purposes of London investors. Absolutely. Mr. Stephen Rizibiza, thank you so much, and we appreciate your time this evening. Thank you so much, Gloria.